There's a eucalyptus you want to try in your garden right here. This is a eucalyptus nitens. And uh, because of the location underneath these wires up there, we have to keep it pruned back so it's getting thicker. So if you, you chop them back in the spring or summer at this latitude, it's going to get a nice thick trunk anyway, but it just becomes a really nice sturdy plant. And this one's got beautiful tropical looking foliage on it, uh, locally grown. And uh, it's going to, I mean, they grow into huge trees. And the seed was collected, harvest, uh, harvested here locally on Salt Spring Island, right? So uh, nice fragrance to those leaves too. Wendy uses them in her um, bunches, her eucalyptus bunches she sells out at the farm stand. So if you live in a similar growing zone, try a shining gum. So that's the, the, the common name is shining gum. And uh, the Latin name is uh, eucalyptus nitens. And then we'll go along the fence line here. And you'll see more of them. This is Eucalyptus nitens, there's another Eucalyptus nitens, and then there's a Perniana here. That's a Perniana spinning gum. We have so many Eucalyptus trees. Small leaf gum there. There's a mix mash of them in here. I don't even know some of the varieties. There's 100 foot uh, white gum there, Dollar and Pliana. It's, uh, it looks nice because they're always uh, silvery, silver color right through the year, right? They never change. And then they bloom. We have some that are blooming too. There's another Perniana. Anyway, um, this is our walk of vines, we call this. There's vines all along here. There's a really cool eucalyptus growing at the end here. See the name of it? Planted it a few years ago from a baby. This one I didn't grow from seed. And uh, it's got really nice leaves on it. It is a eucalyptus elliptica. It's called a Bendermere white, white gum. White gum. So really cool looking tropical leaves on it, big leaves, and another nice one for cutting. So just some of our eucalyptus trees. We have so many eucalyptus trees here. I've lost count of it. So try some experimental species where you live. It's always fun to play around with them and uh, try to pick them from good providence so they will stand up to your winters. But uh, don't cry if you lose a few in the winter time. It's the way it grows when you, that's the way it goes when you experiment with plants, right? Old man winter can be mean sometimes and weed out the wimps. So anyway, thanks for watching folks. Like and subscribe for more videos here on this channel. Cheers.